Kyle Sarmento was a starter on the Lee Varsity soccer team. Just months after his graduation, Kyle was gone. In February of 2018, um, was going to school at West Valley College. Uh, was, you know, being a normal 18-year-old young man, you know, doing the things that he loved to do, surfing and uh, snowboarding, playing sports, that kind of thing. February 22nd, he went to classes that day. Nothing out of the ordinary that day. Came home, raided our refrigerator like he always liked to do, and decided he was going to go to a friend's house in Santa Cruz and was going to stay the night there and play some video games. And um, walked out the door and that was, you know, the last conversation I had with him was he said, you know, I love you, Mom, and walked out the door. And later that night I got a phone call um, from his friend saying that they found him unconscious and not breathing. Kyle suffered from sudden cardiac arrest. His heart had given up. There were no symptoms, no sign his heart was anything but perfectly healthy. Sudden cardiac arrest is when it's a condition where the heart suddenly and unexpectedly stops beating. If this happens, blood stops flowing to the brain and the rest of the vital organs. And if not treated immediately, sudden cardiac arrest can lead to death. Sudden cardiac arrest can be prevented with a simple screening. To find out that a easy, you know, screening could have easily detected something in Kyle that could have saved his life um, pushes me and my, my um, husband and my daughter every day to do what we're doing. What they're doing is spreading the word to parents about getting your child screened. Um, well, we, you know, we'd just like to see that they get their heart screened and what that means is doing an EKG or an echocardiogram on them because the issues that cause cardiac arrest in youth is missed um, with a stethoscope because the issues that cause cardiac arrest can't be heard through a stethoscope. They have to be seen between, uh, by an EKG or an echocardiogram. Max Broberg was a junior pitcher on the Lee varsity team when he heard about Kyle's death. He says he had some occasional heart pain but had never been screened. Max decided to get a screen, a decision that likely saved his life. So then I ended up booking a visit with my cardiologist and they found out I had a couple heart defects. I had SVT and um, I had a hole in my heart too. So we had to patch up the hole and then they found out the SVT about a month after we patched up the hole. So then we got on new medication. So far it hasn't triggered it. So it's been quiet since then. Sudden cardiac arrest typically shows up three different ways in young people. The first category would be electrical heart disease or any heart rhythm problems. So heartbeats, so things like arrhythmias. The heart beats regularly, it beats too fast, it beats too slow. The second category would be structural heart disease of the heart muscle or of the arteries that supply blood to the heart. So one that people have heard about is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and that falls into that category where um, the heart wall becomes thickened and it really obstructs blood flow out of the heart. And then the third category that we see in children and adolescents is situational causes. There's a sudden blow to the chest, there's an infection of the heart muscle, sometimes recreational drug use can cause this. And so these are the three bigger categories that your physician will be checking for. The toughest part for Jennifer and her family was not knowing anything about sudden cardiac arrest, not knowing it can be prevented. Losing a child is not something a parent ever thinks they're going to go through. Um, and when this happened to Kyle, it, it, it's very isolating and, and a lonely feeling, you know, because it's not something everybody ex experiences and it's a grief that you can't explain to anybody. But when we found out it was cardiac arrest and I didn't know of anybody that this had happened to, it makes you feel even more lonely and isolated. Even if you're surrounded by people, you just feel very alone. Jennifer has started the Kyle J. Taylor Foundation to get the word out about sudden cardiac arrest and provide free screenings, all to honor her son and keep other families from feeling their grief. It's amazing. It's a blessing to be living every day. I mean, stuff that happened to Kyle is just Anything can happen out of the blue tomorrow, so you just really have to be blessed to be living today and just take it one day at a time.